Hello, I'm Interlissim, and we are back in Dwarf Fortress. We have ourselves a nice little trading caravan waiting there. Hopefully our trader will go to it at some point, but they look like they're still unpacking. The what was that? Season is autumn. Giant grasshopper is fighting. The flying donkey bone bolt strikes a giant grasshopper in the third right leg, tearing the muscle. A ligament has been torn and a tendon, so they're using those bone bolts to attack grasshopper men. Oh, are we hunting it? Yes, the bone carver Meng Otter Tanamost is hunting. Um, sure, hunt a grasshopper man. That seems a bit harsh, but I guess whatever, whatever floats your boat. I'm actually going to start butchering now. I actually want to butcher me some animals. So Z to get here, enter our animals, and we have ourselves a lot of bunnies. Bunny, 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 bunny. So let's butcher ourselves two doe rabbits. That leaves one doe rabbit and a buck. And of course we have all the bunnies coming along, so we should be fine there. What else do we have down here? We have ourselves a poult, which is tame. Someone's friendly thing. Let's get rid of the buffalo calf. Let's get rid of the stray mule. Actually, we'll keep the calf. That's a piglet. A bunny. Hmm. Oh, well, that should be a few things to be getting on with. Uh, how are the dogs doing? I've got a lot of puppies coming along. should get us some uh, nice tasty food and also we can use things like the leather, we can use the bone and we can use the fat. The fat of course will be useful for soap. Soaps are one of these complicated things. You need like fat or oil and then you need like ash and... Ugh. Giant Sparrow is fighting! Uh, the flying silver bolt strikes the giant sparrow in the low... See we're turning our silver into bolts now. We've got that much excess metal. Um, tearing the muscle and tearing the gut. It looks sick. It lodges in the Wound, it vomits, it wretches, it vomits, it wretches, it vomits, it vomits, it wretches. Okay. Good to know. What's that? Oh, more vomiting, uh, vomiting and wretching. Okay. There was death. Strikes it in the right wing, chipping the bone, the tendon's been torn, it gives into pain, it falls over, it vomits, it wretches, it vomits, it wretches, it vomits, it wretches, it vomits, it wretches. Sure, okay. Keep doing that. Uh, ooh, let's go to the previous page. Is that... How do I do that? Up? Yeah. Uh, the flying donkey bone bolt, which is a fairly good quality, strikes the giant sparrow in the left lower leg, chipping the bone. The ligament's been torn. It falls over. It vomits. It wretches. It vomits. It wretches. Gives into pain. It vomits. It slams into another skull. Low body takes the full force of the impact, bruising the fat. Looks even more sick. And it wretches. <laughs> At least they're getting some training in shooting that crossbow. And it's just vomiting and retching quite a lot. Well, that's interesting. They're cancelling the rendering of the fat because there isn't any fat. There will be soon. Don't worry about that. How's that giant sparrow doing? Okay, uh, strikes it in the left wing, chipping the bone. Um, in the left lower leg. In the lower body, tearing the muscle and tearing the spleen. Uh, the flying silver bolt tears uh, the muscle in the lower body and tears the stomach. Gives uh, uh, Regains consciousness so it was unconscious. Uh, gives into pain again. Bismuth bronze bolt strikes the giant sparrow in the upper body, tearing the muscles, chipping the false left false rib and tearing the liver. Uh, well, this is a pretty strong sparrow. A tendon in the left rib has been torn. At this point, you just need to go up and whack him in the head a few times. Come on. Uh, lodges firmly in the wound, uh, no longer stunned. Another one strikes it in the foot, another one strikes it in the leg. Bloody hell, can you just shoot it in the head and kill it off? Like, this is just a sparrow there with no, no arms and no legs left. And apparently no stomach, it's just, entire abdomen is just gone. More vomiting, more retching. That poor sparrow! <laughs> Put it out of its misery! Okay, we've, we've finally built the, uh, the walls, as you can see. Let's go up a level. And now what I want to do is I want to build, I want to build a construction, so shift C, and I want to build fortification, which is shift F. Oh yeah, we can't get up there, we need stairs. So let's go down one. We want an upstair, which is U, and I want to put an upstair in each corner. So there, I want to build it out of, well I've got plenty of quartzite, so that seems fine by me. U again, upstair. There, quasite, and again, there. There we go. There we go, we've slaughtered ourselves a rabbit. Nom 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 nom. 
Seriously, have you not killed this? Oh god, we're spending our entire reserve of arrows. This guy's basically a hedgehog now. Strikes in the in the right leg, again, again, and again. It's like damage to his lungs. There, there must be a, a, so many arrows in that guy. It's a bit of a waste. No, yeah, we ran out of ammunition. We ran out of ammunition. Too damn right. You spent our entire ammunition stockpile. Hmm. We also need to, by the way, build ourselves some quivers. Because we have um, crossbows on the way, but we need quivers. Otherwise, they won't actually equip themselves with arrows. Or well, bolts, in this case. So we're equipping our, uh, building ourselves ten leather quivers. Now let's check. They should have unloaded. Do, have we got our guy there? I suspect no. He's constructing building. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in. We are going to find our broker. Construct building. Yes, it is you, isn't it? Let's just check our social. Uh, yeah, you are. And let us... Oh, God. Uh, no, no. Yeah, you're the insanely good brewer, unfortunately. Right, do you have any labors enabled? No. Let's commit those. And while we're here, I guess we can have a look at what our Mistem Golbathor and Rasuk, you want an office. Mistem, you want an office of dining rooms and chests and cabinets and weapon racks and an armor stand. Okay. Well, you are our hammerer. So, what you will have is a bedroom fit for a, well, someone who wants to sleep. You will have yourself a dining room and an office. And chair. And chair. And someone else wanted a... A place to work. Just an office. Just a bookkeeper's office. So we'll actually build the bookkeeper's office as separate. We'll put it, I think, here. One, two, one, two. And then we'll make that always for the bookkeeper. And let's go back up a level. And what did you want exactly? You wanted one cabinet, one weapon rack, one armor stand. We don't have any weapon racks. That's the one I was forgetting. We need weapon racks. We need a cabinet, a chest, an armor stand. Okay, so let's get ourselves some weapon racks. We want them to be made of rock. And let's get uh, eight of them. And let's also create an armor stand. Um, or two, so... So, chest and a cabinet. So, it was B, chest is N? No, that's very acceptable. Chest, 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 chest. Container, H. Maple chest. And cabinet is F, because of course it is. Cause like cabinet. We could do more cabinets, actually. Uh, cabinet. Create me a rock cabinet. Ah, oh, no, make me four of those. And then, I guess we need to put doors on as well, don't we? Build door. And I think that means our trader is there. Yeah, so let's do our trading. Now, what do they have? Oh, they have things. Copper bar, I don't really care about. Gems, blocks, don't care about any of them. Oh, we will have some glass. Wood, don't want the wood. Really don't want any wood. I've got, I've got lots of forest around me, mate. Got lots of different types of wood. Do you want some wood? No, really, really no. Got plenty of that. Um, ropes. Aha! We'll have all your ropes, dear. Oh, that's 90. We're not getting that. That's 160. No. 50 we'll have. 50 is the top I'll pay for a rope. Um, leather, water, leather, something. A trumpet. Do I want a trumpet? Not really. Can get turkey gobblers. No, don't really want any of that. Barrels. I guess maybe we could do some more barrels. Put our food in. We have got. We have increased our food quite a lot. We could do more barrels to put the food in. Buckets. Yeah, we'll have a couple of cheap buckets. Um. Like there's, a, there's a great maple bucket there. It costs ten times. No, twenty-three times the cheapest. There we go. Uh, iron picks. No, we'll make our own iron picks. Except for the fact we don't have iron. We'll make copper picks. Hmm. Now you're offering us decent weaponry. We'll come back to this. Thank you for the offer. Bronze crossbow. I'll have that. 
Just because it's better than a copper crossbow. Um, what else? What else? Copper pick, 88. I'll buy one instead of having to build one. It, it saves me the trouble. Copper pick, yeah, two of them, there we go, that's all I need. Large mule leather something, I don't really want it. Reed, breastplate. Ah, you've got copper armour for sale. I don't think I can really afford it. We'll, we'll come back to it, maybe. We'll come back to it. What I would love is if you were selling a uh, leopard... Leopard leather? That's leopard leather something. I actually just want leather. I don't want it to be used already. Um, chests. Hydro seed bag. Uh, ratweed seed. More seeds. Grass seeds. Bags. Bags. Honey badger leather something. I guess... Are you just leather? No, you, you are leather something. I want a... I want like a, a bin full of leather. That's what I want. Cloth bin. There we go. We're starting to get onto these things that are important. Cloth bin. Don't want a cloth bin. What I could do is a leather bin. Tell me you've got a leather bin. Please tell me you've got leather bins. I will buy all your leather bins. Or a lot of your leather bins. Leather bin! And it's 60. Brilliant. Uh, cloth bin. Leather bin! 65. Good. 70. Good. Another cloth bin. Ugh. Please tell me you've got more leather for me. No, that was it. Oh, bugger. Right, what else have you got? You have bolts. Fairly expensive bolts, I've got to admit. Um, it's not great. Iron anvils. Yes, I will have two more iron anvils. What else have you got after that? Um, meats and dog spleens. I will have all your dog spleens. I will have your chopped swordfish. Prepared honey badger. Coaty meat. Screw it. I need the food, I think. Um, Anything at 20 or less, I'm thinking I go for. It's a lot of meat, but, you know, then again, it will last us quite a while. We can basically eat for a very long time with this much. I've got some bloated tubers, muck roots, etc. Um... Yarn, yes, we will have that. Threads, we'll have that. More yarn. Actually, I'll take the expensive yarns away. That's a thread. Um, I'll just go for this cheap yarn. Um, don't want any of that. Leather backpacks. Don't want any of that. Ooh, quivers. Yeah, I could do with some quivers. Just take a couple of quivers. What else? You've got cheeses and stuff, but they're fairly expensive. Um, okay, okay. Uh, you don't actually bring any things like iron bars, which I would like. Have you heard of the miracle of the mug? I've got quartz mugs. They are pretty. We've got Mika mugs. We've got Cinnabar Uggs. Granite mug. Quartzite mugs. Oop. I'm actually going to give them more, and then we'll go back in and buy some uh, armor and stuff from them. Although there are dwarves coming. And I'm fully aware that, you know, dwarves have stuff we want. So let's go down and have a look at anything else they have. Look, go past all the wood. Come on, come on. Right, so yeah, we're here again. Hmm, now what is there? Great axe. Tempting, but very expensive. Warhammer, we're making one of them. It's also no quality to it. Um, copper short sword, we're making some copper stuff already. Bronze crossbow, we have. Iron short sword, expensive. Really quite expensive. We'll have it though. We'll have one of those, I guess, and. Warhammers, we've got them building in silver, which should be pretty good because they'll be heavy. Nice and nice and heavy. Bit of weight to them. 
Uh, I can't tell what this is. It's like leather something. Iron breastplate, I think that is. Large iron breastplate. I don't think we can fit it in. And that's copper armor. Bronze buckler. Yeah. I'm going to take off a couple of mugs just because I want some to be able to sell the dwarves. And we'll try that for... There we go. Yes, they went for it. Sweet. Which means we can move all our goods away. And we can also tell the trader to go back to doing whatever you want to do. And I'm actually going to just optimize because that should give him back his job. In theory. Uh, it changes a few things, actually. Let's commit anyway. I don't really mind, provided the, the thing's doing its job. And back. There we go. Stock level low on our stone goblets. Let's see how many we sold. Um, well, we've got a lot of wooden bolts all of a sudden. Currently, <laughs> 375. Um, okay. No bone. Copper's dropped a lot. Coffins are going up. Drink is all over the place. Yeah, there we go. Goblet just dropped massively. We've currently got 13 goblets. Of course, a lot of them are uh, probably still sitting in the stockpile uh, outside the trader depot. And we've got a mechanism, wheelbarrow, and our prepared food is probably going to be taking a bit of a jump soon, hopefully. I should be taking things downstairs, which is all good all good for me. I'm pretty happy with how that trade went. We got a load of stuff. I'm hoping that we can get a few more uh, of our mugs out. Yeah, we've... Oh! Uh, stray water buffalo calf starved to death. Oh, that's because we didn't assign it a pasture. Did the giant sparrow die? No, okay. That's annoying. Let us have a look, by the way, at... Is it... No, it's not Z. It's U... No, it must be Z stocks. There we go. Because it'll display everything on the map. And if you go down to, say, ammunition, you can see shots that have been fired and didn't break. So you can see that there's silver bolts on the map, copper bolts, business bolts, donkey bone bolt, and a large bolt all sitting around. Now, there is a way you can just go F for unforbid. But you can also do this with a box selection. You just select the entire map. And there are quite a few things just sitting here. Uh, I'm actually going to do that back again because I think I may have just unforbid something important. Uh, I think I may have unforbidden something on the trading floor. I don't know, actually. Let's just leave it like that. Because there were a load of armor and stuff. I'm like, the only people with armor on the map are the traders, and I don't want to piss them off by nicking their stuff. That could end badly. But yeah, we finally have those corner stairs in, so let's go up, let's go build, let us go shift C, and let us go fortification, which is shift F. No access to build material non-economic item. Oh, do I have to place you through something? Let me just check. So shift F. I can place it here, but I can't place it up here. Okay. Let me do a downstairs, a D. Can I place it on top of that stair? Yes, there we go. So we need to place a downstair, I guess. Um, that's fine. Go downstair here. Oh, no, uh, D. D. There we go. Giant Sparrow's fighting! We got more, we got more bolts. <laughs> Yak bone bolts are hitting it in the stomach, uh, in the upper body, tearing the muscle and tearing the, the middle spine's nervous tissue. Come on, kill it for God's sake. Did you finally kill it? Lower body again. Seriously, it doesn't have a lower body left at this rate. The merchants will be leaving soon. That's fine. We got all we wanted for them. Thank you very much, guys. We even got ourselves an iron short sword. Yeah, that's how we roll. Iron short swords all the way. Oh no, a cow, a, sow, a cavy, cavy sow has been stung by a bumblebee. Terrible. It won't work. 
We need empty food storage container, as I thought. We need more bins. Not bins, barrels. Barrel. Make me some wooden barrel. and Make sure they are worthy, if not of Mordor, then at least of something else. 25 of them. That should keep us golden. Please tell me we're hitting it with something. Nope, we are still shooting at it. It's because we unforbid those bolts, isn't it? Uh, wings, wings, everything. We need them to actually get a weapon and just run in and hit it. And we, we ran out of ammunition. As basically as expected. And the, the merchants have embarked on their journey. Good. And they're just packing up. Finally. Now, when they're gone, I'm going to basically select the entire map and select Unforbid because I want them to check if there's anything lying around. Because it could be that that like, iron armor was just lying around from something that came onto the map and died. I don't think so. I think I would have noticed, but... Wretches vomiting. Still striking it in the lower legs. Striking it in the throat. Oh, tearing the skin. Major artery has been opened by the attack. Right, it'll bleed to death now. Hopefully before we waste any more ammunition on it. Oh dear. Why do you think I can do this? What was that? Oh, we made some wooden bolts and it was completed. Excellent, right. Well, here we go. You see this place? This big square. This is going to be a nice, calm relaxing barracks. And by calm relaxing, I mean, you know, people will be doing stuff in there, but, you know, still might be relaxing. I guess someone could consider it relaxing. Um, what are you doing over here? You haven't built any of these. That's a shame. We need them built. What about here? Oh, we've made a lot of leather quivers, actually. What about these? Uh, I actually would like these to be built fast. Because we need them to make stuff. Uh, to make the sheriff's office. And now this has been created, we can tell it to be plump helmets all the time, or plump helmets all the time. Of course, I'm using A, B, C, and D to change every season. There we go, I was missing spring. And also, we want to change this one. I would like it to be pigtails. Pigtails. Um, sweet pods, I guess, maybe. And uh, dimple cups. Actually, no. Plump helmets. Oh, we need more plump helmets. Everyone needs plump helmets. What are you talking about? No you, no. Yes, yeah, so we need more food storage containers. We need those barrels fairly fast, actually. I'm going to find those barrels. Where are you? Where are you, barrel? Barrel. T. Be, be our priority for carpentry. Seriously. Silverbot has hit it in the head, tearing the muscle. Can we just kill it already? The bookkeeper is hunting. Just fighting everything on the map and just shooting everything. It's like, you know, after a while you could probably go in and you could probably hit them to death with your crossbow. They are putting up very little resistance now with what you've just done to them. But no. La uh, the giant thrips in the left wing chipping it. Oh well. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. I've been Enter Elysium. We've got a nice trade this episode. It will allow us to continue. We've got a bunch of leather, which means we can create a load of leather armor, which I'll be doing next episode. And we can set up our barracks. Oh, it's a, it's a thief. He's probably going to leave. There we go. Uh, we've got ourselves a barracks, which will be useful for training our first proper military. Anyway, I've been Andrew. I'm going to end it there. As always, if you like the episode, please remember to like. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. Stay shiny.